and welcome to Good Life, the health show with me, Pooja. Well, this is a show that focuses on providing you with solutions to your health-related issues, lifestyle and much more. Well, viewers, cardiological emergencies can occur anytime, anywhere. So if such kind of situation arises, what should be done in the initial stage? And to discuss on this, we have with us Dr. Debanga Bora, cardiologist from Excel Care Hospital. So not to waste any more time, I'll straight away move to him and talk on the topic that is the cardiology emergency and we'll straight away move to him. So doctor, once again, welcome to Good Life, the health show. So you are again here and we'll be talking on the cardiological emergency, which is in Indeed, a talk of the town and it is a very important emergency which is seen in every household nowadays. So what are the concerns first off you would like to start on? So, thank you. Thank you, Buza. And once again, the viewers, I am Dr. Debango. And uh, in front of you, I am the in charge of the emergency department of the cardiology as well as the consultant of uh, cardiology department in Excel Care Hospital. So thank you for calling me again. This is the, my second time, third time here. So we'll talk about the emergencies and what are the emergencies of the cardiology uh, in, in our area, in our scenario. So first of all, uh, the, what is the emergencies? Mm. So what is the emergency in the cardiology? So first of all, the first emergency is the heart attack, obviously. Heart attack. And there are so many misnomers and what is the heart attack. Mm -hmm. and, and basically, Dr. Cardiology is related to heart for the general public. I want to just mention that. So please. Okay. So, uh, so it's uh, hmm. and many people uh, they'll find it very new that uh, if my father had a sudden heart attack. What to do? What not to do? Hmm. Say uh, in more in the remote places, there are, uh, no medical facility at all at that place. They have to come at uh, our hospital or some other hospital. Hmm. Uh, but the thing is that uh, please remember, viewers, the cardiology is an emergency. Cardiology problems are the emergencies, and cardiology emergencies are. The, it's a time bounded things. You have to save time to save the patients. Hmm. But it's not like that that the, the, we cannot cure this. If you, we, we find or we will got the patients at the right time, at the right moment in the emergency department, so we can save the patients. But uh, uh, emergency, cardio emergency, always a emergency. Mm -hmm. Few of them are heart attack, okay. heart blocks, and heart failures and some are the arrhythmias, mm -hmm. something like palpitation they complain usually okay. and some are like uh, syncopes, loss mm -hmm. of consciousness, something like this is mm -hmm. also a part of complete heart block. Okay. So these are the some emergencies we mm -hmm. tackle in emer emergency department. Hmm. as a cardiological emergency. Okay. So well rightly said doctor that cardiological emergencies is not set from before and we can't predict it from before. It can appear and it is an emergency which can appear at any time, isn't it? And you have already clearly mentioned that we have seen that in some of the family household we have complaints about heart attack, we have complaints about heart congestion. So there are lots of reason behind this, isn't it? So you talked about many of the cardiological emergencies which are the first of all is heart attack which is very much common these days. So whenever it's this kind of patient comes to your clinic and in your hospital. So what is the first thing you consult them and you just talk to them? What are the things that you tell them about how you take their history, of mm, course? Okay. Hmm. So first of all, uh, you want to know that what are the precautions they should Precaution. take on how to assess mm -hmm. that uh, it at home mm -hmm. that it is a heart attack or not or it is a cardiac emergency yes. or not. Hmm. Right? So Puja, you are right. Uh, uh, many of the people from our periphery no, I'm not talking about the people who are in the urban area. Hmm. The people who are residing in the rural areas, hmm. many of them uh, in India, they are also some of not aware of the cardiac emergencies or what are the cardiac problems. Right. So first of all, how will they will know that it is a cardiac problem? Hmm. Uh, so it depends upon the uh, disease to disease. Okay. So first of all, I like to say about the cardiac attack, or it is called heart attack. Hmm. So heart attack means in the medical terms a myocardial infarction or MI. So if the patient complain of the chest pain, then if the patient has some breathlessness while doing some minor walks, like walking, hmm. walking upstairs, then if he has some problems in doing some normal household work, he cannot sleep in the night, he have to get up at the night, he has a air hunger. Hmm. He, he said, I cannot sleep at night. There is swelling of the feet. Hmm. 
and usually there is so a gradual swelling of the feet. So, these are the some symptoms and along with chest pain there is a profuse sweating. Hmm. So, these are the signs a person can assess that it might be a heart attack. Okay. Though some other condition also mimic like hypoglycemia, hmm. they can mimic something like uh, severe respiratory infections like in the lung, infection in the lung sometimes mimics chest pain. There is a gastritis sometimes mimics gas, chest pain. So, these are the some other things are there, but please remember uh, these all things are uh, not a uh, killer of the patient, but a heart attack can kill. So, don't, uh, don't argue among yourself that it may be this, it may be this. I have found lots of patients is complaining, sir, we have gastritis, hmm. I have pain in my stomach, but ultimately we found it is a heart attack. Okay. So, these are the problems. So, lots of confusion that lots creates in everybody's mind. Uh, they take you, up this pain in yeah. some other mode. Okay. Mm. Hmm. So, better you, if your uh, relatives or your father, mother or your brother or sister, hmm. they complaining of that I have the chest pain, I can cannot work, I have breathlessness will work, hmm. I am fatigued now. Hmm. He, he has some risk factor like I already uh, said earlier that if he is hypertensive, he is diabetic, mm -hmm. the please go through a cardiological checkup immediately. It might be a heart, heart attack. Okay. So, these are some of the signs and symptoms to know that what is heart attack all about and we should not ignore and we should not ignore the signs and symptoms viewers and if you have any kind of like pain in your chest, that might, that is not necessary that it might lead to heart attack. but. If it is a heart attack, then please go and have a check to the cardiologist. Okay, doctor, coming back to you again, you were talking about the signs and symptoms about heart attack and what initially things we can do at home. Suppose if the patient is there, he's having a lot of like chest pain. So what is the first thing we can do? Uh, so first you have to recognize that it is a heart attack or mm -hmm. not. So first of all, if you recognize it is a heart attack, or it can be heart attack. First of, first and foremost thing is that you have to call uh, ambulance to see if the patients. Hmm. Because at home, basically he cannot do much or okay. we cannot do much at home. Because hmm. it is a gradually progressing or sometimes it is very profusely pro progressing disease. And within a minute, a patient can be killed or can be die due to heart attack. Mm -hmm. But first of all, you have to recognize it. Okay, once we recognize that thing that it is a heart attack, hmm. uh, I request the people uh, to carry at least the tablet aspirin. Aspirin. It okay. is a very, uh, it's a very low cost. It is minimal cost, at least 25 pesa uh, per tablet. So you, they can take. It is 325 mg hmm. uh, one tablet. So we usually use aspirin in a headache. So they can take give aspirin as soon as possible. Okay. If the patient, uh, if suspect that it is a case of heart attack. So, will it stop a heart attack? Yes, hmm. provided okay. the patient does not have any bleeding problem. Okay. okay. Hmm. First of all, even if it is a bleeding problem, hmm. if even if it is a bleeding problem, if heart stop, hmm. then patient can die. So, okay. with the, please not go to that much, hmm. just give the aspirin bring him immediately to a nearby uh, hospital where cardiology mm -hmm. is available, cardiology doctors are available. Okay. We have to thrombolize. Mm -hmm. Okay, doctor, we'll have a conversation on this. We have the first caller of the day, so let's take the call okay, first. Uh, hello? Uh, hello. Uh, doctor, of the BP, if huh. the BP is low, so is there any chances? Uh, uh, thank you, ma'am. It's an important question, and uh, always uh, people ask this type of questions to us that low BP can uh, can cause. First mm -hmm. of all, you have to uh, see where why it is a low low BP, and uh, if uh, sometimes because of the severe uh, dysfunction of the heart can cause the low BP. If it is not there, madam, you are sure that. Hyper, hypotension, low BP is not a risk factor for cardiac arrest, uh, but it may cause dizziness in syncope. Syn means chakkar aana ho sakta hai aapko kahi pe jane se, haan, ek baat ho sakta hai aapko thakawad lag sakta hai kabhi kabhi jane se. So, uh, low BP as a whole is till now is not considered as a uh, 
uh, risk factor for heart attack. So, yeah, but you have to ascertain whether associated any problems are there or not. If okay. uh, the agar koi diabetes hai, koi uska risk factor hai family mein, to wo bhi dekhna hoga. Lekin uh, main itna sure bol sakta hu ki low BP hone se heart attack nahi hona chahiye. Okay, I'm sure the viewer who have just called us must have got some answer and some relief. And our numbers are flashed on your television screens, viewers. So if you have any queries regarding the cardiology emergency, so you can call up and Dr. Debango Bora is in our studio and he will give you all the answers. All right, coming back to you, doctor, again, we were talking about uh, the handle of heart emergencies. So what you were saying? Um. Are you, can you repeat the question? Yeah, we were talking about the handle of heart emergencies. Like if any kind of emergency arises, you said that first of all, we'll have to call the ambulance. Okay, fine. And then because, and we can carry aspirin, which can be given. Hmm. So I was like asking you, will aspirin stop heart attack? Yes. Yeah, aspirin is a drug hmm. which uh, de slows the, uh, the clot, which actually uh, uh, block the arteries of the hearts. So what is the heart attack's mechanism is, in the uh, heart yeah. there is a three arteries, main arteries. So one of the arteries are blocked. It is because of the clotting factor in our body. It is very uh, difficult to understand, but uh, yeah. I can explain you like that, that when there is a bleeding in our body, yeah. it usually there is a clotting. You have seen a black color thing in the, our body. This is yes. called clot. That clot is usually happen in the arteries of our hearts, okay. in inside. So that clot sometimes block the flow of uh, coronaries, flow of the blood to the distal part of the heart, means in the heart. So you just understand like that mm -hmm. only. Aspirin is a drug which is a potent, uh, which has a potency or it is a very good in disclosing this type of clots mm -hmm. and to f make it sure to re reflow the same part immediately. Okay. So as I think uh, as, uh, aspirin is the, the and the first drug we still using since uh, very long okay. as a uh, first drug in the heart attacks. Okay, so and that it has is been 325 mg. It's okay. not a 75 mg, it is 300, it's a low, uh, high dose. You have 325 mg. 325 mg, high hmm. dose. The aspirin which is using in headache in the normal uh, population. Normal population. Okay, okay. Doctor, we and, have another uh, caller of the day, okay, so fine. let's take that call as well. Uh, hello. Hello, my name Hello. My name is Hello. Hi, Kok Kok. My tension is very hard to hold. What is it? If he is having a lot of tension. Yes, yes. If tension is very hard to hold. But if tension is very hard to hold, there is a lot of tension. There is a lot of age group. There is a lot of tension. There is a lot of tension. There is a lot of stress. There is a lot of mental tension. There is a lot of stress. There is a lot of stress. There is a lot of stress. A physical activity will like stress or is it a tension high upon a commissary tar piece of upon our zodin risk factor take a more risk factor to aqua versus a pressure diabetes smoking and genetic factors when upon our family to go to go over heart attack was a a will like stress factor is the able of the risk factor take a then I let stress can lead to heart attack heart attack over you know a call stress only by he will without any risk factor to look up on a is you hold who is a then only heart attack no way are we had to go and up me and could but you're all is the sort of sorry psychiatrist or to go like you are gonna stress as a rule out really up me he could work into alone stress is not a risk factor for Okay, alone stress is not, no, leading, not a because this is stress is like leading to many kind of diseases, many kind of problems. Mm. So this is one kind of factor like it can lead to some others. So maybe the person is really concerned about heart attack and he was talking about lots of stress. But that has to be taken, lots of stress, so lots of things to be taken up. Okay, doctor, we were talking about the uh, how to like uh, take the emergencies and how to those tackle those emergencies at home. And so first you said that aspirin, about 300. Mm. How much? 325 mg. 325 mg. He has to be soothed. He have to soothe. So by how long? And he had to take immediately. Okay. That is the main thing. And other things that you have to see the patient immediately. No other medication is there. Sometimes if it is a hypertensive, the BP is very high. Then we used to give sorbitrate, the tablet sorbitrate. The patient who had a heart attack, cardiac attack earlier, okay. they used to carry a tablet called sorbitrate. It is 5 mg. They used they can take sorbitrate sublingually. The sprays are also available, but we not, uh, it is not recommended now. Uh, tablet is okay, fine, fine, you can take. That can also relieve the pain in the heart. Mm. So that is also another remedy. But the main thing is that as soon as possible, you call the 
uh, ambulance and see the patients to nearby cardiology oh, so department. That would be better. By to better be as as soon treatment. as possible. But time is the muscle, mm -hmm. and you you lose the time, then uh, patient may have action should be taken immediately. Immediately. Okay. So, doctor, uh, the patients of hypertension and diabetes has to take an extra care in these kind of things, yes. isn't it? Yes. So, what do you suggest and what do you recommend to those patients that how they should keep a check on their hypertension, like it's their BP? and also on the check on their diabetes so so that they can lead a happy and a life okay fine hmm. so uh, nowadays we have seen the hypertension part hmm. first of all i'll talk to hypertension hypertension okay. is nowadays in very common in young areas it is called hypertension in youngs hmm. uh, worldwide worldwide, worldwide. We, hmm. it's it's a another that uh, boy have asked no? the hmm. is stress. stress yes the stress in our now we are now in a competitive world right everybody have uh, some target everybody working for targets mm. even uh, boss is scolding there that you have go for some targets mm -hmm. so everyone is in a stress in every job mm. even our job your job everywhere mm -hmm. this stress can lead to hypertension first mm -hmm. of all so it is very common among the youngs mm -hmm. the person who has a family history of hypertension has a may have the hypertension okay Next is diabetes is the same thing. It is a genetic um, uh, uh, predisposing diseases. Hmm. So diabetes may have in the familial uh, person to person in the family. Okay. So, so these two diseases are very bad or very uh, strong interaction with, with, with the heart diseases like MI. This is called cardiac heart attack. So people who having uh, history of diabetes and hypertension, they always take care of their air cardiac status. Mm -hmm. First of all, if you detect a diabetic patients and a hypertensive patients, you should go for cardiological checkup mm -hmm. at least once in a year. Mm -hmm. Apart from this, you have to stop the smoking part. Mm -hmm. You have to go for regular exercise. Okay. And the regular exercise in the sense that you have to at least do a aerobic exercise of 45 minutes. Okay. I am not talking about the weightlifting and anything. Mm -hmm. It is the aerobic exercise that this is called walking, running and uh, yoga is also sometimes helpful. Mm. So uh, this type of exercise and diet management. Okay. So you have to cut off carbohydrates, you have to cut off fats. Okay. You can take proteins uh, as much as possible. It is not mm -hmm. possible for us because India is a very foodie country we mm -hmm. have to f we love foods right uh, we, <laughs> but mm -hmm. uh, but we have to keep a check on our heart so that mm -hmm. it can have a happy heart yeah isn't happy it? heart mm -hmm. so please uh, these are the simple things mm -hmm. and uh, for diabetes at least one in a year cardiac checkup and mm -hmm. for hypertension at least one to two years okay we, this was my next question because we have seen many family members we have seen many of the generations out there that they don't keep a check on their heart unless and until the problem arises oh. isn't it please remember hmm. diabetes is more dangerous than hypertension hmm. if patient is regard uh, diagnosed as a diabetes we already think him is a heart attack, heart attack patients. Okay. And we give some preventive medicines already. Hmm. But regarding the hypertension, it, though it is a risk factor, the, may, may, the person may not have uh, heart attack, hmm. but that person is prone to develop severe stroke, ischemic hmm. stroke or some uh, hemorrhagic stroke, but he is more prone to develop stroke. Hmm. So the person, those who have a diabetes, na, they always should care, take care more than the person who is having Hypertension. But I am not taking that hypertension patients should not take the care, mm -hmm. but they also should take care. They should also nah, take care. But, mm. but the thing is that, but mm. diabetic, those who are diabetic, please check your uh, cardiac status at least annually. Annually, okay, mm. okay. So if we talk about, is there any silent signs of heart attack, doctor, so we can make it out and we can have a check on it and we can immediately go and see a cardiologist? Yes, uh, mm. this is also a very good question, uh, Puja. It's mm. a, uh, many of the um, our patients they are coming with the mm. different problem to different brands in okay. like medicines mm. they come come to the dentist dentistry also mm. they are called atypical presentations of the cardiac okay. cardiac heart attack mm. so first of all a chest pain may be may not be classical a classical chest pain is the pain not in the left side it is a misnomer chest mm. pain is around central area it is around the central area. Mm. That is the thing you have to make it clear to the viewers because they think that heart attack and the heart pain well, is usually taking place in the left side where our heart is placed. But it is actually where. So, so mm. the, that is the main thing. The mm. misnomer is uh, uh, we have found a lot of patients, uh, mm. at least to 30 to 40 percent of the patients in our OPD, those who are not uh, cardiac. 
they usually come with uh, a query that my chest is paining where mm. it is in the left side. Mm. That as it is a left side, they are coming for cardiac checkups. Okay. Basically, what is the classical sign of heart attack or classical sign of MI is the chest pain is around the just middle part of the chest. Mm. It is always associated with some work. If you walk, then it is increases. It decreases down if it is you stop the work. Okay. Associated with sweating, sometimes if it is severe, or if you uh, if you it is a severe form, then there may be swelling of the feet, then uh, just breathlessness while uh, sitting also like that only. Every chest pain may not be a heart attack because. Mm -hmm. In the left side of the uh, our chest, there is a muscles, there is a bones hmm. uh, apart from the heart and we have uh, some uh, cartilages are there. The infection and lung tissue also there. The infection of the lung, infection of the muscles and infection of the cartilages may also give rise to the chest pain in the left side. Okay. And if the pain is localized, if localized, hmm. if we can localize the pain, my pain is here. Hmm. So, it is not hard because okay. heart is inside the bony cavity, mm -hmm. it is moving around mm -hmm. in a bony cavity, it is moving around like pumping. Mm. So, a person cannot pinpoint that he do not know where is the heart, he cannot pinpoint. Mm. If it is a pinpoint that is a muscular or it is a localized pain, uh, <coughs> it may be because of muscle, because of cartilage or because of mm -hmm. ribs, because of uh, lung tissue also. Mm. Sometimes people coming with a right side that chest pain. It may happen sometime in the heart attack, but it is unusual. Hmm. Sometimes people come with a pain in the neck. Neck, okay. So it is a atypical presentation. Hmm. So cardiac arrest may happen. Uh, people used to go to dentistry that my despite uh, this this side of the, the hmm. uh, teeth is paining. Okay. And he find that there is nothing. All right, doctor. We'll have that conversation. So let's take a phone call. Okay, first. Okay. Uh, hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, my bong to Hi, 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 Okay. So, key is that the 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 so, you have to go to the left side, the right 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 the right side, the right the right side, the right the right side, the 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 right the right side, the 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 right side, the right the right side, the the no diabetes. the right side, 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 the right uh, uh, he had a problem. Uh, first of all, at or Bukur So more suggestion it to say you please come and consult a cardiologist, okay. do an ECG and echo, hmm. and at least a TMT. I mean, hmm. treadmill test will be We at it is a simple treadmill. Uh, we attach the ECG there. We ask the patients to run on the PA. Actually, we will make uh, a uh, symmetrical to the staircase like this. Hmm. Uh, the symmetry of the staircase uh, so that patient can have the same feeling hmm. and. Uh, so as she complained, my upward kuska ille bhagole ke to ami henu ko ata staircase bonai diu. So tetiya jodi uthi jaunte tar he she have some ECG changes in our machines, then we can predict that it is a case of heart attack, and we can give medicines. So you recommend her to go and see a cardiologist so that things can be clear and she'll be also relaxed. Whatever signs. I request her to go through a cardiologist and can at least do an ECG eco and TMT. Okay, so okay, doctor, we that. have another call, so let's take that call okay. as well. Uh, hello. 
Hello. Hi, Kok. Hello, good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Yeah, I wanted to ask you what is the how one someone uh, differentiate between an gastritis pain or an uh, you know cardiac arrest because what happen often it happens to me that at night time. I feel extremely, you know, pain in my entire chest, but I cannot pinpoint at what the exact location is. So once the pain arises, I start walking here and there, but uh, gradually it, uh, you know, decreases down after one hour or two hour of time. Uh, in one of the instances, I had rushed to the hospital. Okay. They had even taken the TMT test and everything, but nothing comes out of it. Then they referred me for gall uh, gallbladder scanning, which also I had done it. So I was in the impression. I am. Somebody suggested me. I, I have no as such, you know, knowledge in this matter. But somebody suggested me, me to go for uh, you know angio, plast, uh, angiography. Angiography, yes. So for to detect any blockage in there. So can you please comment on the entire this thing? Uh, uh, please be online. Uh, again, the same question, sir. Whether you, what is your age, sir? Please. My age is 36 years and my weight. I am a little overweight. My weight is uh, 94 kg. You are 36 years and. Sir, your weight, you are overweight. Okay, fine. Obesity is one of the risk factors. Now, okay. you, you are diabetes and hypertensive? No, no, nothing. Nothing okay, is fine. there. Okay, uh, fine. Do you smoke? No, I, I didn't smoke. I didn't take any alcohol as well. Okay, fine. Thank you. And do you, from your family history, do you have any cardiac arrest from your family? Yes, I do have a family history of cardiac arrest. Okay. And it is coming from two generations. Two generations. Okay, fine. Okay. You, so two risk factors are there, sir. So, uh, but that ECG, EQ and TMT is negative. So, uh, thank you for uh, uh, putting these type of questions to here. It is very crucial and it is urgently mm -hmm. you have to uh, you have to knee or the people have to knee the yes. what is the next. Mm -hmm. It is a dicey. Mm -hmm. So, see the, the person is a risk factor but yes. that person he is a 36 years. Mm -hmm. So, 36 years uh, is usually not a, a, is, uh, a common age for heart attack but he is a obese and obese. his family history is positive. Mm -hmm. uh, we have found uh, uh, the lowest Heart attack age is 19 years okay. in our life, hmm. my whole experience. Okay, 19 yeah. years. 19 years. Hmm. Uh, it's a marvari and he is also a obese. Okay. So, uh, so it may happen, but it is not a common, but it mm -hmm. may happen. Hmm. So, he, uh, he was rightly said, hmm. uh, ECG, ECO and TMT in some time may not be, uh, uh, may not be hmm. uh, a diagnostic tool. If after do, uh, doing everything, hmm. still he has the same symptoms. He had a tightness of the chest in the middle part. Hmm. He cannot pinpoint, okay. and uh, it's subsided after uh, two after hours, walk, two hour walking, two, takes, uh, yes. two hours. Hmm. So I think it's right that uh, it is the right decisions that he should go for an angiography. Mm -hmm. It is called angiography, sir. It is angiography. Hmm. So what angiography? It is a gold standard. Okay. Uh, they will directly view the arteries. Hmm. Why it is happening the cyst pain in the heart attack? Just because the blockage of the arteries. Okay. If directly view the arteries, if directly view the arteries, then we are hundred percent sure that there is a uh, block or not. If there is a block, then we can go for uh, uh, we can go for angiograph angioplasty. What is what is there? Where there is a block, we can open it up with okay. a metallic stand. Mm -hmm. uh, now question is uh, again same question is sometime may happen. You are uh, for him I can say sir it is uh, good uh, that you can go for angiography uh, hmm. if it is a uh, it's a it's a regular phenomenon for you going for the say pain. Okay. So uh, but the thing is that uh, the sometimes the people ask me uh, I have a chest pain sir you are doing ECG you are doing eco you are mm -hmm. doing TMT and then you are now giving me angiography. Mm -hmm. Why not you are giving me angiography directly? At the first. Okay. So if, uh, after, okay, doctor, after we'll talk on this discussion. We have to slip into a short break. But after the break, we'll come yeah. and continue with the conversation. I'm sure the viewer who have just asked the question must have got the answer. But we will continue with our conversation and you may get some more clearance on your question. All right, viewers, we'll slip into a short break. But do come back soon because we have lots more on the other side.
Welcome back, viewers. You're still watching Good Life, the health show with me, Pooja, and I'm still joined by Dr. Debanga Bora. And we were having a fruitful discussion on cardiological emergencies, and we had a good number of calls as well. As our numbers are flashed on your television screen, viewers, so if you have any queries regarding your heart, regarding cardiological emergencies, so you can call up and we'll get your all answers from Dr. Debanga Bora. Doctor, coming back to you again. Earlier to Thank the you. break, we were having a caller, and he asked. He was really concerned, and he already have a many kind of tests. So, what do you want to tell him? So I really love to give these type of questions because hmm. these are the queries in the common people that I have a chest pain, No, um, I have done every investigations hmm. but there is not coming up anything. Now the uh, people asking me to do the angiography. Hmm. So uh, next thing is that they said after doing all this investigation why in angiography and why not you give the angiography earlier. Okay. So first of all uh, I like to uh, give you the first thing is that uh, the these are the first three are the non-invasive. Uh, investigations. They are, there is no invasions. They are, uh, we cannot pierce the body of any patients. So these are called non-invasive investigations and the guideline says before ruling out any uh, um, MI or anything, you have to do a non-investigation investigation first. If you can rule out from there, then you go ahead or if you not cannot rule out from there, then also you can go ahead and uh, you can rule out the everything if the symptoms and the pains are persisting. The person is having pain still there. Mm -hmm. He is not. He is in a great query. Okay. That may create tension and stress in our body, uh, in his body. So um, they, okay. that may lead to some problem also. So uh, to at least to clarify his queries. Okay. That whether there is a chest pain or not, as because he had a history of two generation uh, cardiac arrest. He is obese. I like to request him. I suggest him, hmm. please go through the angiography. If it is not there, if there is no no uh, cardiac problem, then you are happy that I don't have, okay. and we'll go for searching for another. Okay, okay, uh, doctor. Uh, we uh, have another call, so we'll take that call, and then we will continue with our conversation. Ha hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, my, my Hi, 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 by the cock. Hey, move down a husband or man a problem at a hurricane. Hi, cock, by the way. Put down a major clinic, be at big high. Hi, Dora Dori Corile, plus do a get to a man a guard who do big high. ตอนเอ่อน่ะเฮ้ยเอสตุกบนิยูเอสตุ <laughs> That's a terror obesity by weight by Nuga regular exercise. Kiba say, regular exercise of not Okay, fine. Okay, that's a by the Ted Miller detail of exercise to correct it. Tell Bukhan behind it. Oh, behind, behind. Down Kitia Bani behind Kitia Babi. Mane, the Tia behind it at Okay, fine. So okay. uh, thank you, Vedu. Aru uh, ata question hudi bo asle. Apnu ke zee test kori sile hikini kiki kori sile bolu. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, okay. Okay, fine. Then, hello. GNRC, which is it's a very good institute. So, by the thank you for these questions. So, my, I think, Bob, sir, by the way, I think, what sometimes it's the question is very classical. That he had the pain sometimes. Sometimes. So, and sometimes it's not there. So, he is a regular exercise. Correct. His only problem is that he's hypertension. He's not always. There is no family history, no diabetes, no diabetes non-smoker, hmm. nothing. Hmm. So hmm. his risk factor of having heart attack is very less. Hmm. It's hmm. only one risk factor. And the pain is not classical. You see, the it is though it is the middle, hmm. so it's not like the all middle uh, pain in the is hard. Hmm. And it is sometimes it's come and sometimes not. But if you have a problem, 
suppose I uh, ask you, I tell you, oh, eta uh, jodi uh, uh, gazal eta mur ba katta dal jodi muri eta humai thake. Moi baidor baidor ke koi so katta dal eta humai thake. Aru moi kam kete baat uh, tipile mur kete baat bikhai kete baat tipile mur ni bikhai. Hinu ka hobo nuare. Uh, jodi katta dal bitor humai sa jeti ai tipile baat jeti ai bikhabo. So uh, jodi tyaon heart problem ase, tyaon hala jeti ai tyaon dori ba jeti ai tyaon bikhto hobo. Tyaon enu ka nuhaise kete baat bikhai kete baat. Maybe when he's relaxed, so there is no pain. Uh, so, Maybe he's uh, when he's uh, in nah, his physical said, uh, activity. Nice. He said while uh, the yes. running, sometimes pain, sometimes hmm. not. So for hmm. uh, for that, I have uh, two suggestions. First of all, same thing. If you are not happy hmm. with the problems, because he is 55 years, so mm -hmm. it's a uh, age for heart attack. Hmm. And uh, if you are not happy, you can redo the TMT again. Hmm. You can go for TMT test. If you are not done, uh, or if you are not convinced, then you can consult us. We'll again review the okay. patient. Uh, so, the suggestion happening? you give it to uh, her is that uh, you should again to, review uh, it second yeah, time second and just time, see, second opinion. have a check. Yes, and okay. have, to have a check okay. and if, if possible, we can uh, convince you that whether you have heart attack or not. Uh, if it is not, I like, uh, I wish that you do not have any heart attack. Uh, if it is there, then we can, uh, we can go ahead with your okay. problems. All right, doctor, we have another caller, so let us take that call as well. Uh, hello? 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 Hello. Hello. Yes, Baidu. Yes. Yeah, hello. Yeah, yeah, we are hearing you. Please ask a question. Sure. Uh, I'm Kashmiri. I'm calling from Delhi. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm 27 right now and my weight is around 77. Okay. So this is directly not regarding to that. This is, uh, my father has had a bypass surgery of, uh, when he was 64 years old, like two years back. Okay. So I just wanted to know that just as uh, you know his children what sort of precautions should we take and how should we make changes in our lifestyle so as to sort of you know avoid this kind of problem in the future all right okay she wants may to know about the precautionary uh, may I, may measures how she can please? take i'm kashmiri okay kashmiri thank you for calling from delhi okay so uh, nice to hear you first, yes. first of all a concerned uh, please, daughter uh, about yes, the father. Uh, yes, concerned hmm. daughter. The, hmm. So this is a another good question. That hmm. what should the the daughter and the uh, their child or children should take precautions when their fathers are hmm. uh, having some uh, uh, problem, cardiac problem. Hmm. So uh, Kashmiri, uh, you are 27, you are 77 kg. Hmm. So it is mo most probably it's you are obese. Mm -hmm. uh, height, I don't know how much you, uh, you just uh, see your height and this thing, you calculate the BMI. If BMI is high, then you have to reduce your weight. Now, for children, uh, for girls, uh, up to 45 years, uh, the risk of having the cardiac arrest is very low. Okay. Uh, because the hormonal products from a uh, female body, they always estrogen basically, they protect hmm. the females uh, to having heart attack hmm. up to 45 years. As okay. soon as they reach the menopause or hmm. after menopause, hmm. the chances of having heart attack is increases. Okay. okay. So that, that increases that, that, after that menopause. Is, that is for the girls, please okay. remember. Mm -hmm. The girls, those have, uh, the father and mother is having heart attack. Mm -hmm. So for you, I like to you are in Delhi. Uh, Delhi. Delhi is another place where you can have any food and all foods are all oilish. Mm -hmm. So please don't take carbohydrate and oil. Salted foods, regular exercise, bring your weight down if it is a high. I don't know your height. So uh, if your weight, you are obese weight, then bring it down. Mm -hmm. Regular exercise for you is the key to prevent from the any heart attacks okay and no, no need to take any others enjoy your life you hmm. are just 27 years mm -hmm. not don't think much just enjoy your life but it's really good when these kind of callers especially the younger ones call yes. up and they are more concerned about how to take yeah. a precautionary measures on the topic which we take so doctor we have another call so let's take that call as okay, well thanks. uh hello 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 yes yes we are hearing you hello hello Bob. Sorry, I'm going to ask you Hello. Hello. Oh, Hello. Oh, Hello. 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 Hello.
हेलो हेलो या आपुनार आपुनार टीवी वॉल्यूम जो कमान कमाए लोगों प्रश्न तो दिया आमिर को बिठा बोलते हैं हुनी बोल पाएं हेलो मैं एक डाउनटाउन पर आपको आ कॉ मानने होल्टार रखी हुई थी ले होल्टार टेस्ट तो करी थी ले हाँ 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 होल्टार तो मैंने कि अलग अपन ब्लॉकेज करी थी ना वो सिर्फ तो तो तेरे तेरे डायरेक्ट मैंने मुक्ति इसमें कारो को था पूछी ले हम्म हम्म जैसे लुक्चे एक ओन एक खुद का रिंजो निजी खाए बा भगोरो ऐसी आमन ऐना कब भगोरो सा कौन आलो कि बा ऐने ऊपर देख दिवो पारी बना कि मुझे तो कहाँ ने तमने अपना खोल दिया अपुनी फोन आता कि बो अपुनार बा तेरा और एनजीओ का नॉर्मल आसिल है तेरा किंतु होल्टार गोड़ दे ब्लॉक पे आसिल है और पेस्ट में कारो का नेगोस आ पेस्ट में कारो का था कुछ शशांग सिनियर कार्डियोलजिस्ट इन फ्रॉम द आसाम इज वेरी गुड और सारे राइटली एट कथा हल्टार्ड मसूल ब्लक आज सो ओके आम बहुत देरी हार्ट एटेकर विषय कथ पातील इतना मैं बस्तु हार्ट ब्लक सो ह्वाट इज हार्ट एटेक एंड ह्वाट इज हार्ट ब्लक हार्ट ये दुईटा मिस नम्बर है सो मानुबी ग बस्तु तो भावे जो हार्ट ब्लकटे हार्ट एटेक है निकी इसी जी के हार्ट एल वि लेफ्ट सडे ब्लक राइट सडे ब्लक भावे आर्टेरिये ब्लक निकी नो इट इज ए ब्लक अफ द इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टेम अफ द हार्ट इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टेम नट द आर्टेरियल सिस्टेम अफ दर फेना सिस्टेम अफ दर इट इज द इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टेम आम हार्ट तो पाम कर हेव टू नीड ए कन्स्टेन्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इट इज देर देर आर थ्री इलेक्ट्रिस थिंगस आर देर वन इन द रईट सड एंड टू इन द लेफ्ट सड सो प्लीज मैं रिलेटेड कर मैं कथा एने से इफ देर इज ए ब्लक इट इज कल कम्प्लीट हार्ट ब्लक और इंटरमिडियेट कम्प्लीट हार्ट ब्लक सामटाइम्स व्हाट हेपेन द थ्री थ्री द इलेक्ट्रिकल वायरस दे वर्किंग टूगेदार नर्मेली द सामटाइम वन एंड टू मे वि मिस एंड हि माइट हेव कम्प्लीट हार्ट ब्लक सो देट कम्प्लीट हार्ट ब्लक मे सामटाइम डिक्रिजेज द हार्ट रेट एंड व्वेन देर इज ए डिक्रिज इन द हार्ट रेट देर इज लो परफ्यूशन इन द बडी लाइक लांगस एंड द ब्रेन सो द पार्सन मे फील ब्रेथलेसनेस एट देट मुमेन्ट अल्सो सो बैदे आई थिंक द थिंग इज राइट आफ्टर डुईंग हल्टार योर हजबेन्ड माइट हेव सके मोस्टलि हार्ट क्या इंटरमिडियेट ब्लग एट पाई से सो देट्स वाई हि सजेस्ट टू गो फर पेस्ट मेकार सो आई थिंक गो एहेड और आपुनी जो आपको सजेशन लगे आम तक आई पे आम गोटेखि सबसे चाली जी बुझा दी राइट डॉक्टर उव हेव एनदार कल लेट्स टेक दैट कल एज वेल हेलो हेलो येस हेलो येस सर प्लीज आस्क यू क्वेश्चन हेलो वी आर हियरिंग यू Sir, my name is Pranav Goswami. Okay. Uh, and you uh, mane uh, apaman mane problem ata hoye apile. Mazo the ekmo dosesta dini test ko paralu, ekko paralu. Aro mo angiography too korai silo recently. Okay. So mane taap isab ko mane pulse ko problem ata hoye thake. Mazo mazo pulse to high hoye jai, jaise pulse rate to komi jai. Kuch komi bola hai mazo the par thirty five man lagya hoye thake. कमी थे ब्लड प्रेसर 
All right, okay, so, thank yeah, you lots up. of disturbance, but we wow, tried uh, to understand yeah, yeah. him. So uh, so he now he's all fine, but still he has sometimes the pulse mm. rate goes high. So, yes. so uh, still uh, doing his uh, main concern is that his mm. pulse rate is going down. Yeah. So he has already the, the, done the his angiography. So angiography is normal. So there is no uh, so arterial system. Mm. There is no block. But still, heart rate is low down. That means the electrical activity. There is some problem. Okay. So he wants to know whether what is the EP. Uh, he wants to do uh, some someone uh, the senior cardiologist suggesting him hmm. to go for EP study. What is hmm. the EP hmm. study? Is electro electrophysiological study. It is full form. Hmm. And electrophysiological study is uh, we uh, study the current of the heart. Okay, hmm. fine. So this is the uh, electrophysiological study and. Uh, while studying this, while we will going through this type of studies, we can assess where there is any block in the any of the three wire of the heart or not. Mm -hmm. If there is a block, then we have to paste, put pacemaker. If there is no any uh, block, then we leave him uh, like this okay. and enjoy your life. Uh, so, 35, going 35, heart rate is very low. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes if we go he down to 30, he does a lot of activity also. Uh, what he was he mentioning, have, but he said mm -hmm. he is playing badminton. Mm -hmm. He is uh, so. I think uh, mm, okay. Carry on. If you mm -hmm. don't want to do the EP study, just enjoy your life. Okay. But please remember, if you have same thing, breathlessness. Mm -hmm. If you have uh, uh, syncope, like sudden loss of consciousness or dizziness in our head, or while working you have breathlessness, then just. Uh, let's go through the EP study. It uh, always helpful, uh, and uh, it will create it will clear your uh, doubt uh, whether yes. there should be any. Uh, the main blower. thing is that it will clear your doubts and yes. whatever tension or all whatever like depression. Are are, yes, all yes. Thing, tests start to clear it's your like doubts. All right, all right. We have another caller, doctor, waiting for us. So let's take that call as well. Uh, hello. 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 Uh, yeah, please ask your question. Hello. Hello. All right, so there is a technical snack. So okay, we'll take fine. another call that's uh, also waiting for us. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, my sister is going to go. Hi, my sister. My sister is going to go. My sister is going to go. My sister is going to go. Hello? Oh, hi, go. Who is it? My sister is going to go. 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 Thank you. Mekin is saying that you are going to be able to do it. Now, my mechanism is going to be able to do it. Simple thing is that our heart or main function is to do palm. And what is palm to do? It is like blood boards that we have to do with our body. Now, we have to do it. So, if you have electricity to body, it will be able to do it. So, blood or heart is going to be able to do it. जो दी हार्टे पाम कोरी वो बंधो कोरी दिया तेरे यहाँ लकी हो बहुत है अमार जीबोर्ड ब्रेन और ब्लड सप्लाई जावो लगे हे सप्लाई तो बंधो ही जाए जेतिये ब्रेन और ब्लड सप्लाई बंधो ही जाए ऐताको था सोबे मनोर रखी बो अमार सेलबोर्ड थ्री सेकेंड्स टू सेकेंड्स मानो लके है रेस्पोंड करे वन सेकेंड बा टू सेकेंड टू सेकेंड और फिटर जब दी ब्लड सप्लाई बा ऑक्सीजन सक्सीजन ना पाए तेरे वाले डिस्पंक्शन आरंभ हो जाए अब तू फोर सेकेंड लोग के हे बस्तु तो थके सो जेटिया ठीक है तो तमिल सेन्नाइ कॉलेज सेन्नाइ कॉलेज से तेरे हार्ट और मने ब्लॉक आती है तो ब्लॉक को ऐसे अपना टेस्ट और नॉलेज ना है कारण है इतनी तो की मने की मेडिसिन इबाल लगे पाया कि टेस्ट में कर लगा बो लगे में नहीं मेरे की बात हाँ आप है तो मैं है कि ठीक अपना नेक्स्ट पार्ट तो मैं कोई है सो सो दिस इज़ द मेकैनिज्म है कि ना ब्लड डॉट जो दी ना जाए सो अपना नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन तो है सर ते मानुषन है ब्लड डॉट में पूरा लोग ले जितने ब्रेन सेल तो बंद हो बा न्यूरोलॉजिकल सब कंप्लीमेंट ब्लड बंद हो जाए मानुषन मेरी क जोते तो तो पूरी जाओ पड़े, हिलोट पूरी वाले पकात पूरी वाले पड़े, बिसना था कुते हो पड़े, so next question to अपुन आंसर हुई से what is the remedy की कोड़े, what is the remedy of that पे, that is more important, more important, the you are you are in the Chennai, they say it is a current block and the one and only remedy of this thing is the pacemaker, 
এজন মানুহৰ যদি কারেন্টৰ ব্লক ইজ ডায়াগনোজ যে তেও কারেন্টৰ ব্লক হৈছে দেন ইট নো আদার মেডিসিন কেন কিউর ইট ইজ দা অনলি মেডিসিন কেনট কিউর ইফ ইট ইজ আ আর্টেরিয়াল ব্লক এ মেডিসিন কেন কিউর বাট ইফ ইট ইজ এ ইলেকট্রিক্যাল ব্লক ইট ইজ देयर ইজ নাথিং দ্যাট ইউ হ্যাভ টু পুট পেসমেকার ইন দ্যাট پیشنস দ্যাট ইজ শুড গো ফর দ্য পেসমেকার বাইদ রকি না থাকিবো বিকজ কারেন্টৰ ব্লকটো কাৰণে আপোনাৰ প্ৰবলেম নহব পাৰে কিন্তু তেও যে যতে ততে পৰে কে মূৰত পৰিলে মূৰ ফাটি পেলে কিটা ব্ৰেইন injury mm-hmm. ho pare so that can lead that to some is, other problems uh, other problem better that is to devastating take the and uh, we have seen loss of patients heart or block hoy pelai mm-hmm. uh, problem hoat ke muror injury hoy neurology uh, mm-hmm. problem basic hoy mm-hmm. so apuni uh, beshi rukhi thakibo na lage just government under to jodi uh, hey ase amar scheme ase mm-hmm. if he is a uh, employee of hey the mostly ase na na no mostly ase then gmc mm-hmm. tab amc okay. apunake pacemaker loge lobo pare Mm. and time is really very important uh, so we should important. not may waste uh, the time dorob nai kono dorob nai for short period of time ami kisman dorob di thau mm-hmm. for short period kintu he bila ke iman beshi homoy kam nokore okay, okay. uh, ketia kam bondho kori de hetu ami all right so doctor we are really short of time so let's take the last caller of the day okay, and fine. i would request you to just answer it in a very sum up way okay, okay. Uh, hello 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 yeah we are hearing you uh, apna prashno to koribo hello हाँ हाँ हेलो हेलो कॉक गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग मोर प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम माने हेलो हेलो इयर्स 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 तो 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 मैं उट About his a weight, and uh-huh. he was like 29 years uh-huh. back. He was 100 kg, and now also he's 100, 100 kg. kg. So you're really, really concerned about your weight. So that Abunia, is your question. Abunia, Abunia, weight or kind of basic concern here, sir. No, no, more weight to kya here, sir. Because more, I think, for this person, I got to attain weight. Hmm. And after after that, after 25 years, so to more attain attain weight. Hmm. 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 Hm
come and go through a cardiologist immediately and go through what are the problems. And there are lots of queries, there are lots of uh, viewers who know lots of things that not yet evolved hmm. or still uh, in under questionable. So uh, still we are trying from our medical science that we have to cure all these things. Okay. But there are some remedies, but emergencies are always emergencies. Hmm. So I uh, request all uh, to please be uh, aware of all these emergencies of the cardiologies uh, through uh, book, through internet and, mm -hmm. uh, and we like doctors like you uh, so yeah. you are always ready there and they can come up and uh, anytime ask questions uh, we, so, we are come up hmm. yes okay fine <laughs> okay doctor so we wanted to have a more conversations on the because there were lots of things to know about cardiological emergencies but we are really short of time so we have to end up the show here so thank you so much for coming to good thank life you, the health you, show so uh, viewers with this we have come to the end of the show and we hope that we were able to answer all your queries in the best possible way and in our next episode we shall be discussing on some other important health issues so if you have any queries do join us next Wednesday at 4 p.m. live. Till then, stay healthy, stay fit, and keep watching Northeast Live. Goodbye.